I'm Cindy Bright Johnson. I am the EMS for Children's Director at MIMS. I work with a fabulous team of nurses, physicians, and EMS clinicians who have put together something we are calling Practice Makes Perfect Pediatric Trauma and Pediatric Medical Scenarios. The purpose of today is to provide a brief overview or a brief refresher on pediatric trauma, mechanisms of injury, how kids are different, and then to go into action. These emergencies are scenarios that have been written by our pediatric EMS champions. We have about 35 pediatric champions in 28 of our EMS jurisdictions, which means we have 100% participation. They wrote scenarios based on the geography and the epidemiology of injury in Maryland. We break all of our EMS clinicians down into teams as they would really respond to an emergency. When they do come in uh, a set of uh, two or three from a particular jurisdiction, we break them up and make them form new groups and allow them to figure out how to establish roles for a resuscitation and test their knowledge of the protocols, their knowledge of normal pediatric vital signs and uh, explore unexpected situations that they maybe never have had to be in real life and see how they do. A lot of us are trained to the same standard, especially when it comes to high performance CPR. So it was easy to fall into the training that we have under our belts and work seamlessly even though we don't, we just met each other today. What we added here at Winterfest in partnership with Chesapeake College is bringing children in, bringing in moulage specialists and bringing in parents who are real parents or real grandparents. So in the scenario, they actually get to interact with a child at different developmental ages. And it's fun to interact with and actually getting to see how kids were truly going to react with us in the event of an emergency. This is all kinds of fun and this is a safe place to deal with the kinds of situations that none of us want to have to deal with in real life, the challenging stuff that gives us all a little bit of extra anxiety. What we know from the evidence, not only in EMS research, but also in hospital research, is if you practice with simulation in a safe environment and get feedback, you're much more comfortable, confident, and competent in delivering care to children.